I'm sorry, I didn't hold up my end of the bargain. I not only failed you by not supplying the videos I said I would make, but I failed myself by not even trying. I was loving Starfield, but then all the dumping on it really started to grate on me. I started to see some of the problems and flaws that originally didn't bother me. Ooh, let's get coffee. Oh, or not. Rip, crash. It got to the point that every time I'd turn on the game, I just ran around exploring the same boring things. Mainly uninhabited moons, because it was quick and easy survey money and XP. Until I gave up on it entirely. I let myself get completely swamped with the negativity. Okay, okay, enough, it's bad! I'll stop playing! I didn't want to turn it on. I didn't want to make videos. Even when I wanted to want to, I couldn't find any inspiration. Now, as a caveat, I did have a physical health issue this fall that didn't help my positivity or mood at all. And I recognize that also had me enjoying things less than I usually do. All of my hobbies, not just gaming. But when we fail, we have to get up and try again. Do or do not. There is no try. Yeah, yeah, stuff it, old man. So, I'm gonna give it a second chance. I'm gonna get some quality of life mods loaded and dig in with a new character. I'm going to focus on mainly the primary story and the companion stories because I was so annoyed by the companions early on getting in the way of the RP that I wanted to do that I basically ditched them all. I see now that's part of why I started having nothing to do, got bored surveying, etc. I wasn't taking advantage of the content, I was pushing it away and ignoring it. I am also done clicking on videos about how bad this game that I initially loved seems to be. I probably still love it. I just got manipulated by the algorithms into thinking I didn't. I also think that this much hate for this long means the game is probably better than people give it credit for. But frankly, shitting on it is more profitable, so that's what the big hype content creators are doing. The channel Nerds Talk About Things made a fantastic video that got me thinking more critically about all this negative content. There will always be reviewers who do nothing but absolutely trash talk and say how bad it is. What's worse is now that people are getting paid to do it. I put almost 300 hours into Starfield at launch and I can tell you that you don't need that much time to figure out if it's a game that you want to play, so I call massive BS. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's been questioning all of these reviews. So where do I go from here? No more promises I can't keep, which I guess is a promise itself. I know I can't hold myself to a schedule. Life is way too complicated for me to do that. I'll stream here on YouTube when I feel like playing my new character and split stream to Twitch on my main account if I can get that figured out. I'll put together some videos of his shenanigans as I go so that I can keep practicing with the editing software. Ultimately, these should form something of a narrative of his journey for you to all keep up with when you can't catch the streams. I promise to geek out about every weather event I encounter, and that's a promise I can keep. I can't promise work won't get in the way, life won't get in the way, other hobbies won't take priority sometimes. I can't promise I won't fail again, but no one is going to stop me from trying as long as I want to make content for this incredible title. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. That like button. Smash subscribe. So, want a sneak peek at the FNG? Stargate fans will have an idea of what's coming roleplay-wise. Now can someone please teach me how to get freaking screenshots onto Insta without taking a picture of the screen with my phone?